Labour and coalition governments have always favoured the logging industry over the possum. Leadbeater's possum, Victoria's faunal emblem, continues to face threats of extinction due to unsustainable logging practices, natural disasters and lack of political intervention. I am Chinmay Naik and I went to Camberville and Tulangi State Forest and I attempted to explore the significance of the possum to wildlife as well as alternate resolutions to its critically endangered standing. Eric Wilkinson, who rediscovered the Leadbeater's possums in 1961, narrates the story of his fascinating endeavour. Um, with two friends, I'd come up to uh, Cumberland Valley to do some uh, spotlighting for nocturnal animals. And it was in the course of that spotlighting that I saw the very first Leadbeater's possum on Monday the 3rd of April 1961. Uh, it was only about half an hour after dark. I heard a small animal moving in shrubbery alongside the track we were on. Got the spotlight on it and realised it was the size of a sugar glider but it had a narrow tail and no gliding membrane and that was the moment when I realised I was looking at a Leibbidus possum which at that time was thought to be extinct. Leadbeater's possum is a very significant animal. Um, it is the only member of its genus of animals, Gymnobolidius. Um, it's not got any other close relatives. Um, so it's very important from a biological sense. It's also been the state's faunal emblem since 1971. Um, so it, it's significant to all Victorians. And the population we have here in Victoria is of course the only population of the animal in the world. So if, if we allow these animals to go extinct, that means the animal is extinct worldwide. And we just feel that that cannot be allowed to happen. And that's why we are going to such great lengths to ensure that this animal is protected into the future. You know, you hear about sustainable forestry and sustainable, um, you know, logging. And uh, today I've learned that sustainable logging is a bit of an oxymoron, not really very true. So um, that's been an education. Made me feel a little bit bad about using as much paper. So I'm going to yeah. try and use a little bit less paper. Yeah. Um, endangered wildlife, I mean, again, I've learned a lot about that today. Um, I had a passing kind of knowledge about it. So it's been interesting to learn. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably change a lot of the paper habits. I've got to be honest about that. I really didn't realize there was no such thing as you know, uh, sustainable logging really, so that's been a shock. Environment groups like Friends of Leadbeater's Possum have taken matters to the federal court whereby they have questioned Wake Forest compliance with the regional forestry agreements as well as the Environment Protection and Biodiversity Act. So the situation with the, the legal case is that while the case is going forward, a number of coops in which Leadbeater's Possum and or greater gliders have been identified are being protected from being logged. Jordan Crook from Watch believes the regional forestry agreements are causing the decline of the forest in Victoria. Uh, so I think it was two weeks ago yep. we had a snap action with about 100, 120 people on the steps of Parliament House in uh, Melbourne. Uh, that was in regards to the regional forestry agreements, which got extended um, two weeks ago on that day um, for another two years. They usually get ro rolled over for another 20 years, so it was a good sign that they only got rolled over for two. It was a good sign that the government is acknowledging there's issues with forestry. So it was good to have so many people turn up who also have those concerns.
um, about the regional forestry agreements, which are really a disgusting document that exempts logging operations from environmental laws and protections of threatened species. So the regional forestry agreements are the reason why the forests are in such a mess they are at the moment and why species like the Leadbeater's possum are in very steep decline. Graham George, a wildlife scientist, discusses the role of permaculture in sustainable forestry practices. I'm optimistic that we will find ways to live much more harmoniously on this planet and I think permaculture provides um, a decision making process and a whole lot of tools for uh, for, for doing that and that's what, but that's what I do. I began this journey with a hope to raise awareness about lead beetles, possum and its habitat. Victorian forests are our responsibility and we must protect them. The federal court judgment has ensured that there will be no human invasion for 10 months from today. I'm sure that the environmental groups will continue to fight for the protection and the conservation of the possums. Possum lives matter. Thank you.